depending where you are in your career, what your goals are, or at least what your next goal is, um, chances are that at some point you wanted or still want to advance, to grow, to get promoted, to uh, have your work, your hard work, your talent, your skills, your knowledge, your contributions, your performance recognized by the executive leadership and, you know, um, rewarded by it, for it. As such, the answer as to how do you do this is remarkably simple. The actual practical way of doing it is a lot more complicated. It requires a lot more work and effort. It takes many months, often many years. But the answer is very conceptually, very simple. Ask yourself right now, what is keeping your CEO, your CEO, and you can replace CEO with president, chairman, you know, whoever the top executive is. What is keeping your CEO up at night? Solve that problem or those problems. And by very, very nature of your actions, of your performance, of you providing solutions, that CEO, if he or she is worth you know, their weight in gold, and I'm sure they are because there's a reason why they are at the very top, they didn't get there overnight unless they obviously own the company, but even if they own the company, they're smart enough to recognize your talent and bring you in-house, um, they will take you along for the ride which will be completely earned and deserved. So always ask yourself, what is keeping your CEO up at night and do whatever you can to address those issues. Even if they are five levels above you, right? It doesn't matter. And I'm not saying you should bypass your managers, your supervisors, your directors, your, you know, your immediate boss. No. Include them in the conversation and figure out what you can do. But within the confines of your responsibilities and your abilities without getting into any trouble, right? Legal, um, most of all. Um, figure out a way how you can contribute to solving the biggest, toughest challenges your CEO has. And you will undoubtedly succeed in that business, in that company. And if you don't, that is a clear answer that you don't belong there. That CEO does not have the vision that he or she needs to have is not aware of who their top 10 performers, top 10% or, or their top performers are. And if that's the case, that is a clear signal that it's time for you to go elsewhere. So believe in yourself and focus on the biggest problems and biggest challenges or opportunities that your CEO has. Solve them. Provide value.